Now there's some of the most talented artists in our area, ladies at the four Fort Bend Art Center. Yeah, that's despite their struggles with vision impairments, which are only driving them to work more on their craft. Health reporter Haley Hernandez here joining us to explain more about the conditions that are impacting their eyes. Yeah, good morning, guys. So one of the artists has macular degeneration, which is common. 11 million people in the U.S. have it. Another woman has glaucoma, also common, affecting 3 million Americans. While these female artists could lose their vision entirely, they aren't letting it stop them from creating something beautiful to look at. A famous painter once said there are two things in the painter, the eye and the mind. While Susan Salter and Brenda Bowman have the artistic mind, their eyes are failing them. I was diagnosed with glaucoma in 2017. It's a disease that affects the optic nerve in the back of the eye, which is what transmits the information that you see. Brenda walks me through her studio and explains how much of it she can see. So this is my eye and the upper quadrant of my right eye is affected. It's a very scary proposition to think that you might go blind. Well, across the gallery, Susan has macular degeneration. It was quite a blow, actually. Age-related macular degeneration can also progress until a person is blind. Susan feels it's already beginning to impair her sight, but not her artistic vision. As she melts, molds, and creates gorgeous pieces like this, she keeps one artist in mind. Georgia O'Keeffe, who's one of my heroines, you might say, because uh, she was diagnosed with macular degeneration and in her later years, in her 90s, her, she lost her eyesight. She became blind, but she started doing sculpture, which, you know, is very tactile and you can, you know, you can tell what you're doing with your hands. But she kept on going. She kept on producing art until the very end. So do you plan to be like Georgia O'Keeffe? Absolutely. That's my plan. <laughs> Risk factors for both glaucoma and macular degeneration have some similarities, including age, like people 55 and older, family history, and high blood pressure. Both women want you to be aware there is no cure for these conditions, although for some people, there may be drops to help. You can kind of keep the progression from occurring too swiftly. So the message is talk to your doctor about a routine eye exam that can easily detect these conditions. The test is completely painless. No matter what physical things you might have, you have to keep doing what you love to do. And I say prayers of Thanksgiving every morning that today I can see. Now, the women currently have an exhibit on display honoring women in the arts at the Fort Bend Museum, and that exhibit is open until April 12th, and then they've got another spring art exhibit, so I will link you to those details on click2houston.com, but artists have a wonderful way of inspiring us even when they're sharing their personal story, right? Absolutely, and so talented. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I, I got to witness a demo just mm -hmm. in their studio, and it was just amazing to watch the whole process. Such an inspiration. Yeah. All right, Haley, thank you.